Surprise! So you thought you could escape me, huh? What for? What good would it do? No idea. Buy some time? Time! Time! Time for what? Well, I I'm sure the third Rufus has a plan. You're acting like a baby. Just face it! Rufus number three screwed it up, and so did you! Rufus number three didn't screw anything up. Rufus number three didn't screw it up! Huh? What's that? Oh, my baby phone's ringing. Uh, yeah, hello? I screwed up! Oh, I see. Uh, right, thanks. Um, that was Rufus. He, he said he screwed it up. <laughs> <laughs> what do you know? Good job, Rufus 3. Here we go. Hey, hey, what's the big idea? You ready, Rufus? We're going to do this together, Rufuses. We're going to gas lever together, aren't we? Why can we look at his window? Oh, no, that's... I told you I'm driving and now let's vamoose. Oh wow, we said we just done that. We could have done it as a team. We're going to Elysium. Don't make yourself so heavy. We've still got work to do. I'm afraid you'll have to do it without me. I'm not gonna make it. What are you talking about? Of course you'll make it. No, sorry. He hit me pretty badly after all. You're on your own again now. Promise me that you'll save Goal and Deponia and that you'll make it to Elysium. Do it. <coughs> do it for me. Hang in there, buddy. You can make it. Hang in there. You can make it. No. We're it's learning to love ourselves. It's so dark. Is that you the need to underlying away. meaning? Did you hear me? Don't give up now. Don't worry about me. I'll be all right. Just as long as they don't make me repair junk presses on the other side. <laughs> I love you. I love you. <laughs> I know. I'm way cool. <laughs> <laughs> That's just creepy as fuck. It's gonna take much longer. I don't want to seem unromantic, but we've still got a few gigantic. Uh oh. Uh, that's it, I guess. You finally succeeded in killing everyone after all. The cannon was our last chance, and now it's plugged up. We are all going to die. And it's all your fault. Thank you so very much, Rufus. Shut me up that. there. You should be ashamed of yourselves. Are you serious about blaming Rufus? Where would you be without him now? Likely still at home in Kuvak or the floating black market. Everyone doing their own thing. You wouldn't even have looked up when the bomb towers opened their hatches. It was him who brought you here. He fought for you and your planet. Even though you all hate him. He could have gone to Elysium with me on several occasions, but he didn't, because he refused to sacrifice Deponia to get his way. And now you will damn him for doing the same thing for Elysium! Goal? <gasps> Goal! You're alive! And looking good. And, and you're alive! But... Where's the other Rufus? But why? W w where have you been? It's a long story. But at the end, Argus threw me from the top of the Upper Ascension Station. Rufus, well, one of the Rufuses, 
jumped after me, and he caught me just before I hit the ground. Then he lost control of his flying robot thingy and crashed. Fortunately, I fell off and managed a soft landing on a burrito stool. May I interrupt you briefly? Despite this joyful reunion... Hello, Gull. Tony, we are still doomed to die, remember? Leave them be, Tony. It doesn't matter. There's nothing left for us to do. I refuse to believe that. There must be another way. Doc, shoot what us out the cannon. What are you looking at me for? My plan was using the cannon. Do you really think I would have considered that if I had seen another way? If it's a plan you want, you'll have to ask Rufus. Are you serious? Yes. No, you respect in my authority. Ah, oh, Doc. I don't know. There are so many things I've messed up in the last couple of days. Of course Rufus has a plan. Yeah, I have... What? A plan. What else? A shiny, ingenious, and super-duper plan. His best so far. And it starts with a P, right? Uh, Yeah, of course. What can I touch around here? Jugular Rango! Woo, woo, woo. Okay. Well, I am going to take the pen and write a plan. Hidden somewhere in this pen is a new plan, just waiting to be put to paper. I only have to get it out somehow. Hidden somewhere in this, I only have to... Okay, okay now. A plan. C come on, Rufus. You're good at this. You are super, super, super. <laughs> oh, darn it. No, you're not. You screwed up everything. Seagull was right. The elevator is gone, and Deponia will be blown to bits. No plan in the world can stop it. Okay, Tony, you're no help. Tony, you're no help at all. Bozo? Do you maybe have an idea? Alas, no. Well, think about it. What would I usually do in this situation? I don't know. Start a fire? That seems a bit pointless to me. That's how I thought of it. Go. Cool. Come on, Rufus. You'll think of something. I believe in you. We doctori. Don't you have an idea or two? I've tried, Rufus. I'm sorry. You were right. The plan to shoot Elysium out of the sky was sheer madness. Anyway, the cannon's plugged by the tank now, and I am out of ideas. But you've got to think of something. You're the real tinkerer here. You're wrong, Rufus. I may be tidier, more precise, more reliable, more skilled, and quite a bit smarter than you. Okay, this okay. This is not the time for prudent action. If there ever was a right moment for a rash act of desperation, then it is now. But... He's right, Rufus. You can do it. Only a madman could save us now, and that's where you come in. Exactly. What we need now isn't just another crazy Rufus maneuver. We need the most absurd plan you have ever hatched. No more and no less than the ultimate maneuver. Did that help you? Does that get your creative juices flowing? No. Draw me a plan. Oh, it worked. Okay, the little pep talk. That's all you needed. Aww. Show me the plan. I want to see. Okay, they all think I'm. They'll think I'm crazy. Why not? Well, you never know what it's like to try. Why don't we got to lose? Do it sure way. beats not having a plan. I thought about that as soon as it got stuck in there. Why do you not ask me? It won't get any better if you keep fiddling with it. The wig is a little singed. So what? Be glad at least that the costume survived Oppenbot's fall. Oh yeah, yippee. That way, I was able to pilfer the clothes from my own corpse. I can barely restrain myself from jumping for joy. <sighs> Don't you think this is the wrong moment to turn into a sissy? It's all right. For all I care, we can get started. Well then, onward, onward to, Elysium. to Elysium. I'm ready. Cole, you ready? Make sure the door's closed. Oh, a little air, at last. Can you move over a bit? Whose hand is that? A lot and everyone's Shut in there. Shut up back there. Rufus needs to concentrate. 
I can't believe you guys are trusting me to come along with me. Oh, we got all of the Deponians. That's right. So we've got everyone in Deponia in here. Where's the wee man? Where's Wenzel? I hope no one's going to stop us. Can you check whether anyone's standing on the cable? Not me. Me neither. It must be you, Mook. Don't be silly, woman. Perhaps you, Doc? I don't know. I can no longer feel my legs. Uh, I think it's me. That's not the cable. Barry! Wait. I found the problem. I just need to lift the sandbag somehow. That is me. Oh. Uh, it should work now. Thank you. Oh wait, there was genuinely some problem going on. Goalie, you ready? I just want to say one thing to you. Good luck, Rufus. Hey, this has nothing to do with luck. My plan is 100% based on the laws of circumstantial pressure and lack of alternatives. This is it. Here we go. It's a good shot. Almost. Oh, we missed. We missed by a country mail. The final maneuver proved as a move no more nuts as any other plan there was at hand. A perfect occasion for a contemplation of all the events and the writer's intent. It may seem safe to say that Rufus's way for saving the day is a little snapper. But when shit hits the fan, it's when a decent man's plan will be deeper as ever a diver was a scuba to do. A scuba de do. Scuba de do. Did we make it? It looks like we made it. Like a glove? Uh-oh. That's what I like about you. You always find a place to park. But could you have picked a spot in the shade? Huh. Next time you drive and I do the drinking, I wonder why they haven't sounded the alarm yet. Yes, they appear to be ignoring us. Try to make it work for you. Okay, if I'm not back in ten minutes, give me ten more. Plenty of Argonons here. 11,000 of them to be exact. They're doing what they do best. They're standing in my way. Yeah, I'd love to, but I can't get through. Uh, guys, excuse me. Can I... Can I just get through? A little bit? Attention! Attention! Oh, <coughs> Bailey von Zeck! Division, halt! Division, halt! Yes, yes sir, sir Oh, yeah, I mean that. <clears throat> well done. There we go, thank you very much. Oh, crap. More of them. Uh, oh, my God, they're <laughs> everywhere. Attention, bailiff on deck. <laughs> Hello? Uh, bailiff on deck! Yeah, we've noticed. Tell us something we don't know. Really? Mind your manners, will you? A little more respect for our bailiff. Duh! <laughs> right! <laughs> yep. He's got a point. After all, he's the bailiff. <laughs> oh dear. Exactly. I'm, 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 after all, I'm the, I'm the bailiff. Uh, remember that. Argus, come out from behind there. We're going down or up? I think. I'm headed for the bridge. Take me to the right level. But Bailiff, you should know what level that is. Yes, of course I do. I just wanted to test whether you know it too. Let's go down then. Oh, that is a lot of these guys, isn't it? Is it just going to go down forever? I think so, until we stop it. Is this the right floor, Bailiff? You should know that, being a Bailiff and all. Ah. <laughs> of 
course. <laughs> of, of course. Uh, of, of course. Are you completely sure about that? Of course I'm sure. I'm the bailiff. I'm always sure. Good to know. Time to disembark, everyone. The bailiff says we're here. Uh, let me guess. Oh. Dun dun yes? dun. Argus. You guessed it. And you must be Rufus. Some nerve you've got coming here. Foolhardy and stupid. As always, or don't you realize that I will now have to break every single one of your bones? Wait! Can't we come up with a, a more peaceful solution? I don't think so. The time for amicable agreements has expired. I've been looking forward to this day. Oh, let's the fight last. then. Oh, 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 oh. Let's go, I'm a ninja. Let's stand on this pedal, maybe? Cut it out! What have we here? A throttle valve to adjust the elevator's speed. Well, who needs that kind of thing? Ow! Ah. Oh. You ready to go again? Have another one in the face. Whee! What's that? Splat! Ah. Hey! And we are going down. And we are going to stop. <laughs> Where did it go? Did it go? Did it go down there? Bailiff, at last, the team is waiting impatiently. Well, waiting? For your speech, of course. And allow me to add that I am no less excited myself. Your speeches are always so inspiring, so eloquent. You play the crowd like a, a virtuoso plays his piano. And if I may say so, a less charismatic orator would literally be torn to pieces by such an audience. <laughs> he would. Oh, certainly. But your words are like magic. Inimitable. <laughs> but here I am, just raving on. You should get started before the crowd grows even more agitated. Yeah, yes, nobody wants that. Electrifier, work your magic. Uh, just a moment. I, I, I think, um... Gentlemen, we are about to be addressed by our great role model. Our leader. Our mentor, our idol, Bailiff Argus! <laughs> and just a moment ago, personally assured me that the speech he's about to deliver will inflame your hearts for our common cause. And now, stand to attention! You are now being addressed by... Bailiff Argus! He knew this, and he just let me walk into it. What an ass! Um. Uh oh. Yes, uh. What on. Well, I mean, that. Uh, ass. I don't. No. Uh, <clears throat> what I'm trying to say is. That, 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 um, ass. That ass who is standing in front of you. Oh no. Right here by my side. Uh, right here by my side. Is a fine example of our organization. <laughs> Certainly not the only ass in this place. Is the only one of 11,000 asses aboard this ship? Is certainly not the only ass in this place. <laughs> we are all asses. We are all asses. That's how we were constructed. That is our destiny. I know, I know. Why is he saying those things? Well, this is why. Just look at our logo. Just look at our logo. 
Looks like somebody put their butt on the photocopier it does actually. during an office party. And now the result is proudly displayed on our banner. The print of a gigantic flabby ass. So why be surprised when they treat us like asses? I could name you a thousand more examples. I could name you a thousand more examples. The fact is, we're the asses here. But is that something to be ashamed of? I say, no! I, for my part, am proud of what I am. I am an ass! And you're all asses too! It's time to show the world what's inside us! Oh dear god. Long live the Aminon! <laughs> what's it true? Very inspiring, like always. Great. Well, then I can go now. Uh, which way to the bridge? But, uh, what about the him? The him? Uh oh. Exactly. Argonon. Do, 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 do. Him. You can't have forgotten. Uh, uh, yes. The him. <laughs> Me, 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 me. <laughs> Here we go. Organon. Oh, organon. Oh, oh. Organon. Organon. Oh, organon. Oh, oh. Oh, yes. Or Ganon. Yes, come on. They loved it. They loved every second of that. Hand on the heart, come on. Amazing. Oh, 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 no, 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 Come on, play your, play your electric guitar. Your air electric guitar. Okay, let's just sneak away. They'll never know. I had hoped you would introduce me to the person who caused us so much trouble. Don't worry, she's on board. You should be more worried about the others who are also on board. Your precious bailiff Argus has moved the entire organ onto this high boat. What? That can't be true. Where is that treasure? You know, I've got good news and bad news regarding him. The bad news is someone's got to clean the floor of the elevator shaft. Uh oh, wait, I how did he survive? That will be necessary. Argus, I don't believe it. You are trying to deceive me to bring the organ on to Elysium behind my back. Yeah, but he didn't reckon with me. Oh, me. What's going on here? Uh, Who is hello? That? I'm the real Cletus. He's just an imposter. Oh, of course, yeah, he managed to sneak up. Makes no difference. Plus or minus two zeros. My calculation turned out just right. This high boat is now under my control. Not as long as I can prevent it. Stop that! This high boat is no longer bound for Elysium. What? 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 I'm certainly not going to jeopardize the Utopian project by taking an invading army to Elysium. I'm initializing the destruction of Deponia. Right now, Elysium will have to start on its journey a little sooner than expected. Stop! You that wasn't part of the deal. You fool! This is madness. My decision stands. Don't try to stop me. But... But what? Eh, uh, but... But, 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 what about you? But what about you? You're gonna die as well. True. 
But this is a sacrifice I'm willing to make. With all the suffering I have caused, I don't deserve better. Ha! Huh. So you've got a conscience after all. You don't have to do this. Oh yes, I do. But... But why? Why would you want to sacrifice yourself for the Elysians? Why ah, would you good question. yourself for the Elysians? Who or what is forcing you? I mean, Deponia may be no paradise, but it's possible to live there, and many people do. And not everyone down there was as unhappy as me. I know. I know the life down at the surface. I spent a long time there myself. Like a rat amongst the garbage. Wait, is this, that is this dad? Dignified life. Not for... For a bunch of stuck-up swellheads? Hey! If you really want to know, this is about my daughter. She lives on Elysium. I want a better life for her. On Utopia. I'm doing this for you, Goal. <gasps> no! You old fool! What have you done? What do you think? In a few minutes, a radio signal will be emitted from this high boat. It will activate all the blast towers around the planet. Deponia will be destroyed. And Elysium can finally set out on its journey to Utopia. I saved my daughter. That's what I have done. Not really, she's right here. I'm afraid I have to contradict you, Dad. Go? What? What? How? I went to Deponia with Cletus. I knew you would never permit it. That's why I didn't tell you. The girl we were looking for was you! The one who took pity on these junkyard dwellers and sabotaged our plans? This was about you the entire time? Can't we celebrate this family reunion some other time? Deponia may blow up any minute now! Including us and your precious daughter. You may only turn that off now. What are you waiting for, Ulysses? Abort the detonation! But that's impossible. Can't we stop it somehow? The only way would be to destroy the antenna before the signal has sent. The transmitting antenna, of course. But the transmitter is on top of the upper deck. It would be a suicide mission. Who would be crazy enough to try? I'm in. So Rufus I. and I. Well then, you're crazy. What are you waiting for? I'm coming too. You're staying here, Missy. You and I are going to have a serious talk. Three brave enemies step out for one goal: the Ariel. Let, just let them do it, Rufus. Don't be a dick. Don't be a hero. Let them go crazy. We have the tight rope. We got anything in our pocketsies? Nothing. Oops. Why does that always happen to me with antennas? We have always got it. We're going to walk across here. All tight here rope daily. Haven't got all day, you know. Man on a wire coming up. You boys, snap off your aerial. Come across. Good job. Do they all look different? They don't. These two look exactly the same. <laughs> that was fun. Fun! You moron! You almost killed us! Oh, I've heard that so many times before. But never actually, you have killed us. And that makes all the difference. That's quite enough. I've had it with you. You will hold yourself back from now on. Leave the rest to us. So. How shall we proceed? You could jump. It's much too far. Or perhaps you could stop the rotor. Oh, don't be such a Rufus. The rotors are keeping the high boat upright. Even if we could block it, the high boat would capsize. That would be the end of us. Hmm. We could just... Step aside. I've got a plan. Do the old zip zam. Stop. Don't! Shut up. Here we go. Whee! Oink. Done. <laughs> I hit it! <laughs> and who's the idiot now? You, of course. Same as always. Huh? Why? Because now we can't get back across. The transmitter fell into the rotor and it keeps blinking like nothing happened. Well. Damn! It's still active. How are we going to reach it now? What else have we got to push? 
I'm going to go back in there and say that you guys have done it. That ought to have worked, but I always manage to break things. Unfortunately, we never managed to break the antenna. There's a catwalk down there. I can see that. Any chance we could get there by jumping? Down there? Just how stupid are you? Answer his question, Cletus. Excuse me. You're the inspector here, aren't you? Then let's hear your assessment of the situation. What are the odds? Huh. Taking into account the rotation speed and the radius, the odds that we'd survive without being shredded by the rotor are about one in three. Hmm. Well, one in three isn't half bad. Let's jump. That depends. It roughly corresponds to your brain cells per head ratio. Guys, we got to do it. You know we have to do it. One in three chance. Someone's going to make it. I can almost guarantee it's going to be me. Otherwise, the game would end. Well, one in three isn't half bad. If the three of us all jump from different positions, at least one of us could make it. But that's insane. Have you got a better plan? No, oh, bugger off. It's all settled then. It's all settled then. We count to three, and then we all jump. Ready? One. Two. Hey, what's this? Aren't you jumping? Are you? You were gonna cheat, huh? Not me. <laughs> I almost jumped by myself. <laughs> Good one. We have to do it, boys. Come on. Seriously, this oh, thing. One in three isn't half. That depends. It roughly caught. Again? All right, but no cheating this time. We jump at three. One. Two. Jump. You were about to cheat again. <laughs> we have the jump icon. Are you gonna are you gonna let me do it? I'm just gonna okay. jump down at one, I think. Alright, we jump. One two Next time we jump all together. Understand? I'm ready. Again? All about notes. We jump. Let's go. It's giving me the jump one, icon. One two <laughs> Three. You slime ball. Oh, oh game crash. Rufus? Rufus, wake up. Are they all red, eh? Ouch. What, what happened? You made it. Bravo. W where's Cletus? I don't think he made it, but I'm not quite sure. It all went down very fast. Now, do you see the antenna anywhere? I'm at it. It's right there. Uh oh. We seriously got to unscrew this bridge. Kinda looks like we oh, do. Crap. The transmission has already started. Let's hope it's a very long one. Okay, so unscrew this screw. The bridge will fall down. And are you? Oh, and are you? No. Wait a second. If I loosen this screw, what will hold up the bridge? That's the point, buddy. That is the point. Oh, in fact. Let's screw it halfway in the middle. Are we going to fall? It's not. Oh, we got to seesaw this. I think I get it. Are there any screws over here? There is. Ha! I've got it! Do you hear me, Argus? I've got it! Very good. And now, destroy it, piece of cake. <laughs> uh, I don't want to fix it. Nope. The only way is throwing it into the fan. Kinda want to take that screw for some reason. Can 
here you go, get smashed. No! What are you doing? Destroying the transmitter. What else? You're not about to stick your hand in the rotor, are you? A little bit. I knew you were an idiot, but the sheer folly of this really surmounts everything I've heard so far! I did it! The transmitter is destroyed! Deponia is safe! Yes, very impressive. But to make it a little more interesting, you blocked the rotor. Then help me up so we can get the rotor running again. It would be such a bummer if the high boat were to break apart at this point. After all, we're only a stone's throw from Elysium. Yes, that's an idea. Another idea would be to let you rot down there. I suppose it depends. Depends on what? Your decision. Will you help me with my coup against the Council of Elders? Y you what? Of course I will. What See anything there, there, won't you? Something's blocking the starboard rotor! Is that bad? No idea. You missed Deponia. We're about to crash? But, but we're almost there. I can already see the airlocks. The airlocks, you say? But of course! The maintenance ladders! Perhaps I can hold our position long enough so we can evacuate. Go and gather your friends together. And what about the Organons? Them too, of course. Now that the detonation has been cancelled, I hope that Argus will rethink his plan. I will inform the Council of Elders. But what about you? Go! There's no time for discussion! Go now! Oh no, don't go down with the ship, you Captain. You still intend to have the Organon invade Elysium? Why not? Where else could we go? I will never allow that to happen. Oh, come on, Rufus. Those soldiers down there are our brothers. We share the same genes. Basically, we're identical. Why should you be allowed to get to Elysium and not one of them? Or two or three? Where do you draw the line? Who gets to decide that? You, perhaps? No, but so, what do you say? I say, over my dead body, over you scummer. Over my dead body. That's too bad. But it can't be helped. Somehow I knew you wouldn't cooperate. So long, Rufus. I like how he just waves. No, stop that! Hold on to that rod blade. We're going for a spin. You rotten... <laughs> oh no, now they've broken it for reals. Uh, <laughs> there you are again. Ah, it hurts. <laughs> it's your own fault. <laughs> Ow. You're a fine one to laugh, but now we're all in the same boat again. I think I can free myself. <laughs> Don't. The rotor is only stuck because we're all in between. As soon as one of us moves, it will start running again. Then we all die. But if we continue blocking the rotor, then the high boat will crash one way or another. We're dead. Just how did we manage to end up in this stupid situation? Don't look at me. You two messed it up this time. What? Can't come up with a cunning plan for once. Oh, well, you kind of did. Nah, it's completely hopeless. So, we can relax then. Rufus! Cletus! Goal! What's happened here? Doesn't matter. You have to get us out of here. Preferably before the high boat crashes. Yes, it's a little too late for that. Dad says that all these rotor failures have damaged the engines. He's able to hold the high boat in position for now. But evacuation has already started. We've only got minutes. Oh, great. Now everyone's getting to Elysium but me, right? Exactly. Get me out of here. You can only save one of us before the rotor starts turning again. No. There must be a way to get all three of you out. No, there isn't. Come on, make a decision. How can I decide that? I don't even know who's who. I'm Rufus. You can see him a little stubbly bit. But then Cletus is going to say the same thing. I am Rufus. He's lying. I am Rufus. They're both bold-faced liars. I am Rufus. Oh, 
Great. And now, can the real Rufus give me some sort of proof? Of course I can. I know something that the other two definitely don't. Way more handsome. Simply trust your heart. Please make up your mind. Time's running out. Uh, I know something the other two. The I other know two something don't. That the other two definitely don't. Oh, and what's that? That I cooked breakfast this morning. Yes, I did. That we drew beards. That we drew beards in Bozo's family album. She wasn't there for that, was she? You're wearing your purple underwear today? Well, we don't know. Does it matter what I say? We're just going round in circles. That I cooked breakfast this morning. Yes, that was unusual. Anyone could have guessed that. Yes, but not what we had for breakfast. Easy. We well, had I don't think I can hold on any longer. <laughs> Rats, now we're back to square one. And I still don't know who's who. I'm Cletus. I am Cletus. What? That's not true. I am Cletus. Nonsense. I am Cletus. Wait a minute. Does that mean that among the three of you, only Cletus is man enough to reveal his identity? It's what I had expected from Argus, but Rufus, after all we've been through, you don't even trust me enough to show yourself? You're right, girl. Uh, <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm Rufus, of course. Don't believe a word he says. I am Rufus. Oh, really? Prove it. Well... I'm way more handsome than the others. Please, but who cares which visits Rufus? Just leave us here and save yourself. Yes. Who cares which of us is Rufus? Just leave us here and save yourself. The most important thing is that you survive. Ha! He just gave himself away. Exactly. The real Rufus, uh, that's me, would never say such a thing. You're right. That really didn't sound like Rufus. Could it be possible that you changed that much? The real Rufus will never change. You know that. Then perhaps it's just another trick to look good. No. I, I... It's true. I'm not Rufus. Oh my god, we're going to go round in circles, literally. I am Rufus. Oh really? Prove it. Well. Just... Trust your heart. Well, simply trust your heart. Huh. Let me see. My heart says, um, perhaps the one in front. What? No! Uh, forget the bit about your heart. There are more reliable methods. Just please make your mind up. Please make up your mind. Time's running out. The high boat could crash any moment now. Pressuring me like that won't make it any easier. What if I accidentally pick Argus? Hey, I mean, uh, <laughs> hey-ho, I'm the Roofster. Huh. I'm way more handsome than these two morons. Look carefully. I'm much better looking than those two scarecrows. I can't see a thing from here. You all look the same in those costumes. I need a better clue than that. Okay, let me tell you something the else. The two definitely don't. Oh, and what's that? Uh, we don't know that, and we didn't do that. Doesn't matter what I say. We're just going round in circles here. Yes, but how else am I going to make a decision? Well, who cares which of us is Rufus? Just leave us here and save yourself. The most important thing is that you survive. Ha! He just gave himself away. Exactly. You're right. Could it be possible? The real. Then. No. I'm... Okay, it's true. I'm not Rufus. It's true. I'm not Rufus. Rufus? That's him. What? Uh. uh yes. I. Yeah. Sure. He's right. I, I am Rufus. Is this a trick? A last desperate maneuver? Kind you of. Know, if I help him, it's too late to change your mind. You're going to fall and die. I'm absolutely sure, 100%. Definitely. Just think, how can I be the real Rufus? The real Rufus is never going to give up. He'll never change. And he'll never... Oh my god, we're going to let go for real? Let go. Stop!
Bye, goal. Come on, go. We need to get out. Come. <laughs> that was a stupid thing, Rufus. Huh? Hello, Rufus. Hey, what? buddy. Barry, what are you doing here? You are my idol. You remember? And <laughs> I follow you everywhere. No, seriously. I just wanted to tell you how much I admire what you're doing here. At first, of course, I was shocked. But then I did understand. Brilliant. Really. It was actually the only thing you could do. A genius plan. Even from a philosophical point of view. The ultimate altruistic deed. <laughs> wow. Rufus. The oh-so-resolute Rufus at last finally changed. <laughs> <laughs> At least we had a laugh on the way down, eh? Are you ready? I don't know. Do you really think this outfit is... Hey, that's not him. But Rufus, everyone knows you're a Deponian. You remember that, right? You no longer need to pretend. Never again. You can simply be yourself. Forever. Rufus. But this is... Totally cool. Could we have done it differently? No, surely not. That was our only choice. Ah, here come our heroes, the saviors of Deponia. Well, a fine mess you got us into, if I may say so. Your report poses us a difficult dilemma. Naturally, now that we know Deponia is inhabited, our journey to Utopia is cancelled for the time being. But the high boat is destroyed, and the cable is cut. And with so many new citizens, our resources will be used up even faster than expected. What will become of Elysium? Are we forced to land on Deponia? Is that the solution? So many questions. I'm afraid I have no answers for you, Your Eminence. But this Deponian here is a true genius. Who? Me? If you're stuck for unusual ideas, his imagination knows no limit. Go ahead. Any suggestion will be welcome. Uh, but, go. You can do it. Well, uh, <coughs> uh, perhaps we could mount some rockets on Elysium. Go on. Or flying dragons. And if we put um, monster truck tires on a, a gigantic dirigible. Monster truck tires? Uh, then perhaps we could uh, train a few eagles and uh... getting back to those flying dragons. How big would they have to be? Oh, oh huge! With very large teeth. And Wait, is he learning to become fire. Rufus? they're all identical right they aren't they're only the way they are because of the memories so where's Rufus I'm closing my case there's nothing left to say <gasps> any last questions I uh, take that as a no yeah what happened to Rufus the whole world is shattered I may have a helpful suggestion for you. Just grab your harmonica and sing about the podia. The roof is a stream of a life more ideal. And the fact that sometimes there may be just one last chance to save the day if you let go. And if that's so, I'm off now for real. Off now for real. Either I am so confused. Did you guys enjoy it? What the bloody hell? What's your take on the the ending there? I think it was Rufus that let go, because he knew Barry, right? So that had to be Rufus. Nobody else knew Barry. But that doesn't explain why. Either Cletus or Argus started reeling off some Rufus ideas. But is it like what Hermes said? You are just what you make of your decisions. 
Maybe that's what they're trying to get at. He's there. He's enjoying it. Hello? Give me a clue. Hopefully he's down in Deponia. He fell in the water. They build up the, the wire again. They go down, they pick up the rest of the Deponians and then they blast off. Maybe that's what will happen. Maybe right at the very end of these painfully long titles we uh, we get to see what happens. So what's going to be next on the channel? I am not entirely sure. It might be a survival series, a couple of survival games. Um, I'm probably, whatever it is, it's probably not going to be daily. I think I'm going to get out of the daily thing because it's, it's just a lot of pressure that I don't really need. I feel, I genuinely feel bad. Okay, so it's just going to end. Are you joking? Hold on a minute. What's the bonus? What's the bonus content in here? But I, I think it's the real Rufus sacrificed himself. Argus was killed or Cletus was killed. And the final Rufus is a bit like Goal. They came together because of their ideas and the schemes they made what they are without the chip. That's my take on it anyway. Thank you very much for watching. I thoroughly, thoroughly enjoyed this. And I will be very much looking forward to the next point and click adventure. So until next time, take care, be good and be safe. And I will see you in whatever we decide to play next.